All right, it's that time of year again. We're going to take a look at Georgia's SEC championship photos. I'm going to give you the story behind some of these photos. I don't know if I'm going to have any Kitty Ringo signed books left by the time you see this. There's a couple of them left, uh, but dog instruction is still available. Make sure you're getting that now before there's – I got the go-to while well, I'm in New York probably right now that you're watching this. So get these now. Uh, I'm at Stetson's thing in New York, the Heisman Trophy ceremony, Stetson's thing. So uh, make sure you're getting those now so I can send them out immediately when I get back on Monday. We're going to take a first look at this image. This is Christopher Smith, as you can see. Uh, <laughs> this is just after he's picked up the ball. And Jalen Carter and Robert Beal do not know what's going on behind them, which is that Christopher's like, no one is around me at all. And so I am going to take this ball and run like crazy to the other end zone. And he did. But it just kind of like these guys really, the, the defensive linemen, they really get off on, on blocking kicks. Like that is like their number one thing is blocking a kick. Jalen, I think Nazir Stackhouse got this one. I've actually not watched the LSU game since, but uh, this was this you know, like Jalen Carter really loves to block kicks. Like he is big time into it. Nazir, uh, Zion Logue, all those guys, they love blocking kicks. So they thought this was just another blocked kick. So Christopher Smith just kind of let the ball hang out back there. And so right here, he's like, man, he's like, all right, I got to go <laughs> take it to the house. And as you can see from the second picture, which I'm going to get up right now, he did. This is his total expression. I mean, he could not have been more excited about this play. This is him and Malachi Starks, obviously the freshman from Jefferson. And um, so, again, I shoot with a Nikon Z9 or for – if I don't think there's going to be any, any international viewers, but it would be called a Z9 in a lot of countries. And this is uh, inside of a dome. We're playing American football here. Um, and these two players have scored an amazing play, the likes of which you just don't see very commonly in football. One thing to know that this is an explosive play for uh, Georgia uh, and a team that uh, you've got the other team's ball. If you look at the ball in Christopher's uh, left hand there, that is not a Georgia football. That is an LSU football. Both of them are Nike footballs, but you can see the purple with the gold trim outline on the Nike swoosh. This is just about at the three to five yard line. This is being shot with a Nikon 500F4 lens and a Z9. Uh, and it was just an amazing moment, a moment where you can see the jubilation and they were running together. They could have fallen down. That did not happen because these guys are, you know, could dance on air basically. But uh, Christopher Smith scoring the first touchdown of the game and the first touchdown for Georgia. This uh, is Stetson Bennett, who is Georgia's former walk-on quarterback, and he did not have a scholarship for a couple of years when he was at at, at Georgia, and he left. This is Stetson during the game. I don't know when it was. I love shooting quarterbacks after plays after touchdowns because they are Matthew Stafford was a great celebrator. He's the uh, quarterback for the Los Angeles Rams. Now he played for Georgia in the mid two thousands. Matthew knew how to celebrate and, and Stetson Bennett does too. Um, Stetson is extremely, uh, I don't really know how to describe him other than he comes to play. And he lets it all hang out there. And, and in this place, just after a touchdown, you can see the LSU bench in the background. And, and I, don't, I don't quite know which play it was, but um, this was a touchdown going towards uh, the LSU locker room, it certainly appears. And Stetson is just celebrating. Um, and I've got some other interesting things to say about Stetson in a, in a second here too. This image uh, is probably the image of the game. So again, this is a 500 millimeter shot of this. I have seen some images that are almost a little bit better because they're wider, but I don't shoot with a 400 or 300 millimeter. I shoot with a 500 millimeters, what I've got. And number five in this play, Daniels for LSU, had a 
an injury. His injury was on his uh, ankle, and he was having a hard time moving around. <clears throat> and when I watched this live, I got to tell you, I've never seen a football play like this before, and I've been doing this for almost a quarter century. And Jalen Carter, the guy in red, number 88 there, he picked up the quarterback, who probably weighs almost 200 pounds. He literally picked him up. He did not slam him. And he just put his hand up like we were in a wrestling match or something. Like this was staged. And some of uh, Jalen Carter's teammates have said, former teammates have said, that was really a very delicate way to handle the quarterback because he knew he was hurt. Now, if he had thrown him on the ground, he would have got a 15-yard penalty. So he picked him up. And when he – this was before the officials blew the whistle. He put his hand up like that. And it was just an amazing moment. I, I just was stunned watching it live. And I don't get that way about stuff. But it really was surprising to see. And this image, among among all the other ones that you've seen out there, if you've seen them, this is tight. Like, you can't see the quarterback's ankles. I can assure you they're very taped. But um, – it also shows the dominance of this game. In one image, this is the image of the George, of Georgia's win over LSU in the 2002 SEC championship game. It was a, it was a, um, it was domination in the same way it felt like LSU had domination over Georgia in 2019. But that that is actually that image is going to go down as one of the big images of this season for the Georgia Bulldogs, no doubt about it. Jalen Carter, one of the best players in college football. This is Stetson Bennett, again, the quarterback. Now, number 19 there, the young lady, she had started crying. I, I don't know how she got on the field. She's got a pass. So she's someone's daughter that, um, you know, that, that had the ability to get her onto the field. And this is just an image, you know, of, of Georgia's, quarterback she had been crying before that because she was so excited to see him I mean it's like the Beatles come to town sometimes with these guys and um, it really he let her compose herself but it was really one of those things like man it's crazy how important these guys are to their fans particularly this 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 young lady who uh, had her night made by Stetson Bennett just taking a photograph with her here's Georgia's defense I mean, uh, this port now number four John Emery had been committed to play for Georgia. I flew to Louisiana. I, I flew to watch him play in New Orleans the night before a Georgia game on a Friday night. That was crazy. But anyway, um, they just couldn't get around Georgia's defense. And this is an image of LSU probably halfway driving here. I have to say. Um, but it doesn't look like it in this image. And you can see how many red hats are around John Emery. And if you cannot count it from left to right, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players for Georgia around the ball carrier. Um, and just a slew of them, Warren Brinson, Zion Logues back there, Tresman Marshall, Malachi Starks. Uh, you've got guys who are hidden. I don't know who they are. But they're back there, defensive players, and just LSU just did not have the capability to slow Georgia's defense down um, that night in Atlanta, which is home to the Georgia Bulldogs, that's for sure. This next image is of Kirby Smart. Now, what's happening here? He's the head coach of Georgia. It's kind of a pixelated image because I cropped in maybe a little too tight. But this is after Mal excuse me, this is after Christopher Smith ran the hundred yards to score a touchdown. And he this is Kirby just like two seconds after that play. And what I wanted to say about this play was, or this moment, was that Georgia was totally ready for what was next. And one of the players that was on the most recent picture that I showed you, Zion Loeb, he switches his number before extra every extra point. So he was, I believe, was on that uh, kickoff or, uh, place kick block. If, if I'm not mistaken, he was in on that play. He had to run to the sideline to change his jersey and to get back onto the field. Either that happened 
or he was in his number 96 and they had to immediately get him into number 44. One of those two things happened and it was like it was no big deal at all. That's how on it this guy, this, these guys are. I mean, they are completely prepared. Essentially, it feels like for every situation. And that's what you saw uh, with Kirby Smart right here. He's, he's, thinking, he's thinking while he's celebrating. And I, I, just, I don't know that you see that a lot uh, in college sports. Here's our last image for the Georgia LSU game. And the only reason I got this, this is, this is uh, Dylan Weber's shot of Darnell Washington trying to absolutely maul somebody <coughs> while Kenny McIntosh, number six, is running. Darnell Washington is one of the largest people I've ever been around. And I say that as someone who is 6'4", uh, 250 pounds. A Darnell is significantly bigger than I am and obviously can run much faster than I can. So in this picture, Kenny McIntosh, number six, is broken away for a big run. And here comes Darnell Washington, number zero, who's head over heels, or heels over head, I guess in this case, uh, for trying to come down and get a block on one of the LSU players. And I don't know if it shows up real well in the background because with low apertures like an F4, the way that I shoot, you don't see it so hot. But Kirby Smart and a uh, and a uh, a staffer, a non a non assistant coach staffer, are grimacing because I, I think they want Kenny to go further, but they are also perhaps concerned for the well being of the LSU football player who is about to get mauled uh, on this run. Um, and uh, you know, at, at Georgia has been one of the dominant teams in the SEC over the last five years. This is the first time they've won the SEC championship since 2017. So it's been a long time coming. I do think the image of Jalen Carter is one of those shots that people just aren't going to forget anytime soon. It's not as famous as, as Keely Ringo running down the sideline, I don't think. But it's, it's something in the universe of telling the story of that game. And whenever you talk about winning an SEC championship, that is a really big deal. I mean, Alabama has over 20 SEC championships. They have the most SEC championships in, in, in the league's history. Number two on that list is Georgia after that win with 14. They have 14 SEC championships. They don't grow on trees. And um, that was a special night in Atlanta at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the website.